Rob Pattinson's erotic <sighs> fitting, Lady Gaga's nip slip stroll around NYC, and 13 movies that you need to watch on Friday the 13th. We have got all of that and more on today's rundown. Happy Friday, you guys! Aaron and Misty here, and apparently Aaron decided to copy my glasses today. What's um, this? You know what? I'm copying my shirt. I think Ariel did it before either one of us did. Um, yeah, I wear glasses. Oh, really? Uh huh. Misty, what is going on with Rob Pattinson? Oh, well, he's promoting his new movie, The Rover, with Guy Pearce. So he stopped by Jimmy Kimmel last night. Sure. And this was the best part of the interview. He has a very interesting reason for why he lies. I have extraordinarily heavy saliva. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> but I find it easier when I'm lying. It's for some reason the saliva. I think the panic and the adrenaline makes your uh, It helps loosen saliva your saliva thin, thin up. out. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had someone spit on you, like, in a kind of erotic way? <laughs> Let me think about it for a second. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't had that. It's pretty great. It's good, yeah? It's pretty great. So, to recap, Rob lies because it thins the saliva because his is unusually thick, which is apparently bad, and he likes spitting on Kristen Stewart. I'm so confused <laughs> as to how this interview got to this crossroads. Like, Rob had nothing else to talk about, so he told Jimmy's producers, let me talk about my thick saliva, it'll be a great topic. I think he's a little what? bit strange. I think this is a little bit weird. Yeah, I think that's just his real personality coming out. I mean, Rob's a little bit of a closet freak. I think we know that. Are there people out there who really like to be spit on? Yeah. Do, I mean, do you think that that's real? Is he lying about his lying explanation? Oh, good point. Maybe he <laughs> is. Maybe he is. Maybe he's just trying to get press. I don't know. But that's just weird. That's something I would never tell in an interview. <laughs> no. And I think you might be right. He does need some press for this movie. But in the interview, he also did tell Jimmy that he's, quote, homeless again. He said that last time he was on Jimmy, but last time he was kidding. I think he was kidding again, the lying thing. Yeah. He said that he borrowed a house from someone and then his parents borrowed that house from him and kicked him out. Okay, th this is weird. I think he doesn't want paparazzi to find out where he's living. That's my hey, theory. Hey, that's smart. Hey, that's pretty smart, actually. <laughs> Speaking of super weird, Lady Gaga <laughs> is at it again. And it's not even Weird Wednesday. <laughs> it's true. You guys, she's taking a break from her Art Rave tour and she's been spotted in NYC catching a little break, which is nice. And she bared her <laughs> and a breeze on the streets of NYC in this look. You can see her here. She's wearing like a huge jeweled necklace, you know, a simple top knot with some dark hair, which we haven't seen in a while. And her nips out in this sheer bra with like a sheer jumpsuit. I think she looks adorable. Adorable yeah. is the word that you would use? I think it's a cute look. Okay, does she have a stylist that picks this out or does she pick this out herself, you think? She picked this out herself. You know what I, my theory about Lady Gaga? I actually think that she's super normal and like so like average. And this is just a whole big like show that she does. Wrong. Eh. No. Can we get a sound effect? No. Eh. That's not, no, I, I'm not wrong because I saw this photo on her Instagram page and she's in a bathtub being a little bit weird, okay, with her wig. And there is soft soap on the edge of the tub, like you can't four dollar Walgreen soft soap. soft soap. So I think she's really normal underneath it all. Speaking of wigs, this whole week she's been sporting this new, like huge brown afro yeah. wig, and I think it's sort of maybe '80s inspired, maybe like retro share throwback. For what sure. do you think it looks it's definitely like? Definitely '70s inspired. You think, think '70s? Oh yeah, for sure. But in another Instagram photo, she kind of gave us a little explanation for this new wig. She said it's inspired by the Rivington Rebels which can mean a lot of things, but she's referring to this group of partiers in NYC. Okay, I don't think Lady Gaga really needs inspiration. I don't think she ever needs to say this is inspired by because it's so weird and random, she could just be like, I just felt like wearing this today. No inspiration needed. or explanation required. <laughs> and our last look that we want to talk about this week in weird Lady Gaga news is this Shakespearean look with this large, frilly white collar. And look, Asia got to wear it too. Um, Asia is the best thing about this outfit, in my opinion. <laughs> How adorable, adorable is that dog? Asia's amazing. <laughs> okay, you guys, we'll keep you updated on all this Lady Gaga weirdness. You guys, I forgot to mention it's Friday the 13th and it's it a full is. moon. How could I forget that? Um, yes, this is a special segment for all these superstitious people out there. It is a full moon and Friday the 13th, and that doesn't happen very often. The next time it happens is in like 35 years. So it's an extra special Friday the 13th. And if you're one of those people who don't have triskaidekaphobia, which is the fear of the number 13, I'm gonna break down 13 movies you should see tonight in honor of Friday. 
Friday the 13th. Taylor Swift for sure doesn't have that. She totally doesn't. Starting with Friday the 13th, of course, you can't not see that movie. Then moving on to The Conjuring, which came out last year. Yeah, new Super one. creepy. There's a creepy doll in it. Oh my goodness, you gotta see that. Scream, which is a classic from my childhood. Yeah, Loved OG. that movie. Uh, Paranormal Activity, a found footage film, which is super, super scary. Alien, which is kind of a classic, so if you're into sci-fi movies, that's definitely a good pick for that. Stephen King's It, which is like a television movie, but it's really old school and it makes you terrified of clowns. I've never even heard of this one. <laughs> you gotta see it, it's really creepy. Also, Jaws, so that's super old school. So if you're not into the whole boogeyman thing and you just like are in the Midwest and you yeah. don't go to the ocean a lot, you should totally watch mm -hmm. Jaws. Good option. And also, Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger, can we discuss? Like, you will never sleep after seeing this movie. Thanks, Aaron. Evil Dead, 1981 version is my favorite, but they did a remake of it last right. year, which is also pretty good. The Cabin in the Woods is kind of an interesting one. It kind of has a lot of creepy cliches, so it's kind of funny and kind of scary. So if you can't really handle scary movies, this yeah, could this be a, a good, good one. one for you. When did that come out? Was that recently? And it came out a couple years ago. Okay. I cannot have a horror movie list without including The Exorcist people. There has never been a scarier movie made, in my opinion, than The Exorcist. It is so creepy. Also, the Carrie remake, which, yes. which opened last year featuring Chloe Grace Moretz. It's not too scary again, but it's just got the right amount yeah. of creepiness for I Friday like the 13th. Movie. The Ring is my last one. Yes! You love this love movie. Love this movie. And the thing about it is if you watch this last, it's probably best because if you watch it first, you may never want to put in a movie again after watching that. This was my favorite movie until I realized that Sister Act was my favorite movie and then Bridesmaids was and then I went back to Sister Act, but The Ring is so good. It's so good. So if you make it out of Tonight Alive, let us know which movie you watched for Friday the 13th. It's time for Clever Out of the Week, of course, because it's Friday, you guys. But first, yeah. we're going to give a couple shout outs. This first one, Aaron picked, by the way, is for Juicer Too Slow. A very funny dad's show at five minutes. They did a great job and also knew more than I would have expected. Pretty cool that you did that for Father's Day weekend. Love ya, Ersties. Of course, referring to yesterday's show where our dads made a guest cameo. Awesome. Thank you for that comment, Juicer. We're watching. We can see you out there we can commenting. See you. Uh huh. Moving on to the next commenter, it's me, Zariah. Sometimes when I'm bored, I lay on the kitchen floor and pretend to be a crumb. Hope I made you smile with that, like you girls make me smile with your vids. You did make me smile. I, I got it. a good giggle out of that. L O L. Do you want to introduce our cleverette? It's time. It's time. For cleverette of the week, it goes to congratulations. You're awesome. Happy Friday, Zoe. Loves. Yes. Here's a comment. She said, I love this show. I've been watching it for as long as I can remember, and I always try not to miss y'all's episode. Please make me clever another week. Zoe, we see you. You've commented on so many videos, yep. and that's one of the reasons why we picked you because, like, that's such dedication. Yeah, we love your dedication, so congratulations. That is it for today's show, everybody. But let us know in the comments what your plans are for Friday the 13th. And you know what? I have a theory as to why there was so much weird news today. I think it was because of Friday the 13th. Good point. Yeah. Let us know, you guys, and we'll catch you back here on Monday on the Daily Hollywood Rundown. Ersty saying goodbye. Adios. Thank you for hanging out with us today on DHR. Now, don't forget to click that box right there because yesterday's show was so, so awesome. And also, don't forget to leave without subscribing. TGIF.